I'm so excited. I'm here at Time Date. I hear that there's some really attractive game developers, so I mean I'm single. That's I'm not gonna lie to you about that. I don't really care what kind of car they drive or what their houses or anything, but I, I think that it's important that someone's intelligent and does something creative with their life. And so anyway, let's go see what they're up to, which is exciting. Oh, look at this. They look really busy. This, I think, was is going to be used in the actual game of Prejudice. What's going on for you? Uh, I'm here to... You, you were supposed to stay back there. They, they have to work right now. I'm here to interview <laughs> uh, these... Uh, I. Yeah, how do my boobs look? Hello, everyone. I'm here with Keith Jerkowski. He's the lead programmer. The lead game designer. Oh, shut up. What was your goal when designing the game? When we started working on Prejudice, it was really exciting for us because we got to do a lot of things that we had wanted to do in the first place. We looked at all of these different avenues for community feedback that we have. We talked to people that we work with that play the game. We read message boards and saw players posted. We looked at um, kind of a, a really good source of player feedback that players don't realize they're giving us often is metrics. So we look at how people select weapons, what loadouts they use, what types of choices they make in the game, and then we use that to adjust and balance the game later on. So some of the areas that we've focused on improving, um, a lot of it comes down to controls and uh, movement, changing up the timings on how fast the characters move, um, how the jetpack works, what its flight mechanics are, subtle tweaks to those, um, how players aim, little little changes to how the uh, accuracy mechanic works. Um, what are the exciting new features? So a kind of a, an overall summary of a lot of the new features that we've got in Prejudice. We've got the new uh, updated swarm mode, which is going to be a total blast. We've got the new vehicle, the bike, which is this super fast ground vehicle. You can, you can kind of go into the speed boost with it and run over people. It can actually jump into the air too, and you can squish people with it. We've got uh, a whole new interface. Uh, some people who may have seen some of the gameplay shows completely revamped the interface from the ground up. It looks awesome. We've added uh, a new weapon called the Pulse Cannon. When you first start the game, you have uh, the initial variant you have is, is basically fires charge rounds, and you can charge up the Pulse Cannon. It holds a charge for a couple of seconds, and then you can fire it out. It really blows people sort of across the screen. That's kind of what we wanted to get was this kind of like fun little weapon that you could really use to just send opponents flying if you charge it up to full duration. We put in um, a lot of weapon variants. So in the initial, in the first game, section eight, we had I think six basic weapons. In Prejudice, we have over 20 variations. So I mean, we have like a total of over 40 different weapon and equipment variants. On top of that, we've also done this entire elaborate new campaign. It's this whole amazing story that covers the back history behind the Arm of Orion and section eight and really explains the universe of our game. What would you say is my best feature? What is this uh, video going to be rated? And I will enter appropriately. We've got several great new environments. Um, we've, we've, you've seen some of these in our screenshots. We've got this awesome Arctic planet that you may have seen a few shots from in this sort of desolate volcanic world. And there's there's a, a couple of uh, key battles in the campaign and in multiplayer that take place in these whole new worlds. We've included a couple of new game modes in the game that I am pretty happy with. Uh, Swarm is probably my favorite game mode. It's basically a four-player co-op game mode where you defend a single control point and uh, waves of uh, attacking armed soldiers try to capture the control point. And you have to use a lot of teamwork and strategy to defend that control point against this huge overwhelming horde. Is there a dating mode? No, unfortunately there's no dating mode. Hi everyone. Hi. Is anyone, um, anyone over here single? Who are you over here in the corner? David. Hey David, how's it going? What do you do here? I'm a programmer. Do you like blondes? Uh, yes. Yeah. Right, so. wow. His wife's a blonde. <laughs> he's, uh, over here. he's playing video games. Yep, that's what I do. At the office. What kind of, um, are you driving a nice car these days, or? Joy, what? I'm sorry. What did we talk about? I was just uh, trying to figure out what everybody does at your company. Right? What do you do? Um, programming. See, he's a computer programmer, and he's obviously a programmer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're talking about this. Here, this is prejudice. This is what we're doing right here. I think she's prejudiced. 
against me. I'm here with Robert. Who you are? Who's Robert? Hello? This is all of the art and prejudice. That's what I'm gonna assume. Oh. I don't know. Who is single? 